Very happy. This is touching the car for the first time. It's a dream come true. More than a decade. Been a Tesla investor for about three, four years now. And finally decided to own the product. I'm here at Tesla Topayo Service Center. And today is a very special day because I'll be collecting my Tesla Model 3 right inside. Click subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla and now come join me for this ride. So you see the big Tesla totem here. This was the first Tesla service center in Southeast Asia. And over here in this location, we have sales, delivery, and service. And this t-shirt I'm wearing is a decade old. I first experienced a Tesla Model S back in 2014 with my sister in California. And I bought this t-shirt there in California as well. It's actually quite torn in some holes. But I thought back then, a decade ago, owning a Tesla was a dream. There was no Tesla in Southeast Asia and we didn't have Model 3 and Model Y yet. So Teslas were really expensive. Here in this location, now there are a lot more Teslas. You can see there are superchargers there, there are wall connectors there, which is great because I live in the neighborhood. So come join me inside in the showroom. For new owners, once you order a Tesla, you will pay a $10,000 COE deposit. Welcome to the Tesla showroom. And what happened for me is, in the Tesla app, you get through all the steps to register for your car. And last Friday, I, the delivery advisor called me and said, okay, go to LTA website, register your car, get your car plate. And here I am for my delivery appointment. So in this showroom, you get to see the refreshed Model 3s. So mine is the rear wheel drive Model 3. So it's got a trunk space like this. Uh, mine's in white exterior and white interior. This red looks beautiful, but it costs more for an optional paint upgrade. Many of you have been asking, I've been talking a lot about Model Ys the past year. What made me get a Model 3? The reasons because the upgrades on the new Model 3 are very compelling. The ventilated seats, the faster processor, and more range, quieter ride, better suspension. I still love the Model Y. I've been on many road trips around the world with it. And it's still, to me, one of the best road trip vehicles. And look at the space over here. Easily can put four Brompton bikes, four, five large luggages, easier to camp mode, and so spacious. And the glass roof is uninterrupted. Maybe one day. Here in Singapore, the Model 3 is a good size. And the car looks great. Let's look at the side profile of the Model 3. It looks sharp. So for delivery, we now head inside here. This is our delivery launch where owners will watch a 10 minute video to get a briefing on what you need to know to get started with your Tesla ownership. In here, you've got a TV screen to watch the video. Today, there are two owners receiving the cars at 12 p.m. Me and another owner who's picking up their blue Model Y. Blue is my favorite color and I originally wanted a Model Y. And here, you've got a mock-up Tesla supercharger. For owners receiving the Tesla today, the supercharger network is now in Singapore, in Malaysia and Thailand. In Malaysia specifically, we've got the whole peninsula of Malaysia covered from Johor, Malacca, KL, Ipoh and Penang. So you no longer need to use any third-party superchargers if you don't want to. So I'm going to take a seat here, wait for the briefing to begin, and we'll see you on the other side when we're ready to inspect and pick up our car. See you all soon. The briefing is done. Now let's head into the delivery area. Come join me. This is my first ever car of any kind, anywhere in the world. So behind we've got the car workshop area for Teslas and the car that we're picking up is going to be further down. And here it is, our new Model 3. And all I have to say is, yay! 
very happy. This is touching the car for the first time. It's a dream come true. More than a decade. Been a Tesla investor for about three, four years now. And finally decided to own the product. Before that, all I had was just all the t-shirts like this. So I'm going to speak to the delivery advisor on the next steps, which include pairing the Tesla app on my phone. Okay, so if you launch the Tesla app on your mobile device, okay, we'll let it load for a bit. Okay, so you can just quit the app and you can relaunch it again. Okay, quitting the app and relaunch the Tesla app. You should be able to have access to your vehicle now. Okay, so over here, you can now press set up phone key. We're going to set up our phone key so that the phone acts as a key for the car. Okay, you can press pair. Device. Then it asks you to pair the Bluetooth, so pick pair. And done, it's connected. Oh, and there's a software update as well. Yep, that's it. So all done. Okay. That's it. That's all you need to do to set up your car. And it's good to go, we can drive already. That's correct, yeah. That's it. So I think the only remaining step is just to inspect the car. And I believe we'll have two of the Tesla key cards as that's well. Correct. Right. Within your vehicle. Okay. And a wireless charging there. Okay. okay. Anything else that we need to do as owners? Okay, so basically for today, just like to invite you to just walk around your vehicle. If there's any issues, do feel free to let me know. I'll be around. Thanks so much. No problem. So join me as we inspect the car. So what we're looking for is, again, check the panel if there are any obvious panel gaps. So everything looks within spec. Let's go one round around the car. So you can see that the new Model 3 has more aggressive, sharper, thinner headlights. For those of us programming light shows, they no longer have the signature lights. So there's just fewer lights in there. Everything looks good. I've got the standard wheels, 18 inch wheels over here. And these are the standard wheel covers. And these come with the refresh, the new hardware 4 cameras, 5 megapixel. So as we head further down, we've got the IU unit. So not looking forward to the new bulkier version 2. Happy with this one as we go down to the back. This is our trunk and there's hidden storage down here. Very big hidden storage. And the new thing with the new Model 3 is that now the side pockets on both sides can store items. So the trunk looks good. Let's go. Here's the charge port. Everything opens okay at the charge port. I think it looks good. And as we come here. So one thing you'll notice with the new Model 3s is that there's this extra hook here. This hook is for side impact safety. So the door locks in closer. If something hits you from the side, it's much better safety for the passengers. Teslas are known to be the safest cars on earth and the upgraded Model 3 makes it even better. As we go down here, again inspecting, it looks good. Can the panels be slightly better? Yes, however, nothing very major. So now, I'm going to head into the driver's seat. Come join me in front as we just take a look at the inside. Welcome inside the new Model 3. So you can see, we've got beautiful white seats. Inside here, the, for the upgraded Model 3, the bezels are now thinner. The touchscreen is quite responsive. There's no stalks. So the turn signals are all here in front. Left turn right turn and for autopilot you just trigger this once autopilot will not work immediately on a new car you got to bring it to the highway to calibrate it for maybe 10 15 kilometers could be less depending on the road conditions and here you got two wireless chargers you've got my key cards so unwrapping key card unwrapping so as you open this it's almost like a holder or like a small wallet and here we have two Tesla key cards. So this work by just tapping in the side pillars to open the door. So Tesla recommends always keeping one with you because your phone, if it dies or you lose your phone, you still have a way to access your Tesla. For those of us with Apple Watch, you can also download the Tesla apps like Watch La, so that your watch also works as a key card for your car. So this is good. And here, you've got your cup holders, got extra storage. What I'm looking for is again just checking that all these work. The light, the lights in here as you open the, the dash. This comes up as well and it just clicks on like this. Okay, front seats look good. 
let's head into. So overall, I give this car a yay. Let's go check out the back seats. As you come in, Teslas, like many EVs, do not have a transmission tunnel. Flat ground here. What is new for this Model 3 is we now have a rear touchscreen. So the rear touchscreen, you can enable or disable it from the front touchscreen based on the owner. So here you can watch Netflix. You can even pair with Bluetooth your own headphones so that the passengers behind can watch their own show while the driver in front can just listen to their own music. Okay, my, my phone is over here. So this is our key card. And again, everything you need to do with the car, you can control. You can turn on climate as well, like that. And the aircon turns on. So this is a great feature, especially in Singapore when it's so hot. This quarter, we have very, very hot weather. So we can always pre-condition our car, especially when we're parking outside. Okay, in here, what we're looking for is just, just checking that most alignments are all right. The material looks clean. And you can see again the, the, the holes in the seat as well. So it feels a bit more airy. One thing that's different with the new Model 3 in the center seat is that this thing here, the whole thing now comes down like that. And you've got a cup holders over here like this. So it looks good. I'm going to tint the car. And on Thursday, I'll be coming back to Tesla Topayo. Tesla offers tinting service. So I'll talk about that more in a new video when we tint the car. But for now, Everything looks great and I think we can sign off. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank mm. you so much. Congrats on your car. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm. And that's it. So now I'm going to get my backpack and we're going to drive off. So we'll see you soon back inside the car. Now that we're back inside the Model 3, it's time to prepare for the drive. First thing, put in your cash card. Then it's time to set up profile. So you go to profile. We have no profiles yet. So we need to create a, a new driver's profile over here. And you can add, create profile. So I'm going to put my name. So now I can adjust the, the mirrors. The mirrors look good. Steering wheel, the height looks good as well. So if you are happy everything, then you can just click close. And that's it. So over here, it sees here, press and hold brake. Okay, some ASMR for all of you. I love peeling these things. So here we go. Satisfying for me. So you put this inside, so you hold a brake and because there's no turn stocks, right? The car will first ask you to put on your seat belt, there's a seat belt chime. Here we go, first drive. Now choose direction and touch screen. So you just swipe up to drive forward and it's showing you calibration progress. Because it's a new car, everything is calibrating. This wheel here, you need the circle line to be complete for autopilot to start working. So before I start driving, let's go to the driving settings. I normally drive in chill and I like comfort steering and here in autopilot it must be in park so let's go to park how do we go to park press p over here and later we install the software update we go to auto steer beta allow this for autopilot and when we're happy everything then we're good to go okay that's it now for the autopilot it's single click for activation so it's a lot easier so you just press the right scroll wheel one time after we calibrate so we're ready to drive pull forward and press the drive adjust your rear view mirror and let's go first drive with this car now i want to adjust my seat so the seats are down here the adjustments are just down here there are two buttons you can bring it forward and back and upright okay and when we're ready foot on the accelerator and here we go. Now, the first thing you immediately notice if you're coming from the old model tree is how light the steering is for the new car. And how quiet it is as well. I'm going to be coming back here on Thursday to just tint the car and do a small panel alignment on my right rear door. So to make a turn as I exit, the turn signals are on the wheel, so I just press left. And that's a test drive car. And inside there, you can see that the passenger is experiencing the Model Y. We're ready to go, make a left turn. And you can see on my our left, we've got a 
delivery of new Model Ys. How cool is that? Oh, look at that. So many white Model Ys, which is the default color. We don't pay extra for white. It's very surreal driving for the first time my own car. I've got a chance to drive all the Tesla models except the Roadster and the Tesla Semi around the world. And I'm getting so fortunate with, for kind friends who allow me to do that. Okay, we've got the Tesla map to set our navigation because I'm in my neighborhood, so I'm slightly more familiar with the streets. I'm going to go just nearby. It's time for, for lunch soon. Okay, thank you so much for all the support over the past two years with me on this Tesla journey. From first a fan, then an investor, and now an owner. And I look forward to sharing more stories, owning the car, bringing fans for a joyride, children, students. So click subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. And again, thank you so much for everything. Could not have done this with everyone's support.